All right. Chris was like, I think they had the podium the wrong way, but let me, let me get to you guys. Yeah, let me tell you what I really think. So, first of all, Chris, you wrong to try to keep me to two minutes. I could take two year, two lifetimes explaining to the world the significance, your significance, both, both to the world and to my family. If you ask my daughter Pauline who her favorite uncle is, she'll say Uncle Chris. No offense, Ty Boogie. So, there is so much to say, but there's so much that you already know. You know his unmatched accomplishments. We've never seen anybody dominate the music world and then come and dominate cinema while being entrepreneurial in the way that he is. I look out here, I'm in Hollywood, but knowing Chris, I really want to talk beyond you to every kid on every corner in every urban community in the world. And I want to say that I've witnessed three characteristics that my brother, Chris, has that you could all apply to yourself. The first is a curiosity. He has an inquisitiveness. If you're with him for five minutes, he is going to be as receptive as he possibly can about anything and everything. He makes you feel like you are the wisest human on the planet at all times. He makes you feel like every second that you spend with him is valued. He has that ability. That curiosity is just beautiful. And for those of you out beyond this this street beyond this city, remember to, to, to employ that curiosity as you go through life, because that's how you rise. The second characteristic <laughs> is loyalty. If, if you take anything from this star, if you take anything from this king, if you take anything from his life, know that with every step, he's maintained a beautiful loyalty, and that loyalty will drive you far. That loyalty will make your brothers and your family feel supported at all times. That loyalty is imperative. Maintain that. And then the third thing is my favorite, and that's gratitude. With gratitude, there is nothing you cannot accomplish. It is the most important element in life, and I see it in my brother Chris with shining colors. You cannot know him without feeling this sense of gratitude that he carries with him everywhere. It's what makes him so powerful, and it was, it, it's what makes me so proud. Everyone hears that we're family in the movie, but there isn't a holiday that doesn't go by that I don't see my kids playing with his kids. There isn't a, a, a birthday that goes by that I don't see my wife and his wife together. He's the type of person I could take to the hood alone, and know we going to be all right. <laughs> or, or I could take him to the presidential palace and know we're going to be all right. I, I'm just so honored. When he asked me, I had to, to show my whole family, and everyone was moved when he asked me to speak. It just touched my heart so much. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. I come from a place... Elle knows where I come from. I come from a place that the way you show love to somebody is say, I would die for you. What Chris has brought in 
is another alter it's another variation on that word, which is, I will live for you. So I will live for you, my brother, always. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. And because, and because we're all going to keep it family, and you, this is the most beautiful congregation I've seen. You know what it is. You already know what it is. Right, Pauline? Right, Cadence? I see you, Kai. I see you. But we're missing someone. Karma. Is karma here? Oh, karma speaking... Is Karma speaking at Spelman at Atlanta? Well, I'm proud of Karma anyway, but I know she would say something if she was standing at this podium. I know she would. but this is to you, just so you know. <laughs> to my rock, my hero, my dad, words can't describe how much being here for you today means to me. After receiving your text on Thursday, asking if I could make it to LA for your Hollywood star, it took everything in me to come up with an excuse of why I couldn't make it today. <laughs> the truth is, I wouldn't miss it for the world. From plays, to dance recitals, to graduation, you have always found a way to be there for me. Even if it's a call or a text from miles away, you always made it a point to make sure I felt valued. Growing up, you'd tell me to face my fears, that I can be two things in this world, scared or prepared, <laughs> that there is no such thing as failure as long as I never give up on my dreams. All I know is, if practice what you preach was a person, it would be you. You are a go-getter. You are a natural leader. You are a risk taker. You are a multitasker. You are a king. And you are a perfect example of a father. After years of being the one surprising me, of you being the one surprising me, it is my honor to have the tables be turned. Only you and God know truly how hard you have worked to reach this moment, and I thank him for allowing me to witness just a snippet of the time, passion, and dedication you put into everything that you do. I am so proud of you, Dad. Congratulations to a legend of an artist and a legend of a father. I love you.